हेलो मेड नर्सोलॉजिस्ट यू वॉचिंग साइंटिफिक मेडिको नर्सोलॉजिस्ट यूट्यूब चैनल Today's video is for BSc Nursing Second Semester students. In this video, we gonna discuss about the Applied Nutrition and Dietetics and Applied Biochemistry subjects. First point, RGHS based important questions. This is the RGHS notification for RGHS students. We have created a special YouTube channel for, where you will get only RGHS related PDF, RGHS updates, RGHS syllabus for all the courses and everything related to RGHS. You will get each and every notification. So just subscribe this channel with the link in the description. At the end of this video, you will get important RGHS exam tips, RGHS paper presentations and plus calculation methods and average time frames that is average time you should take to solve each 10 marks, 2 marks, 5 marks questions of this question paper to get passed in your degree examination. So watch the video completely without skipping. This video is very important for your exams. Skipping this video may directly affect your degree examination scoring marks. So watch the video till the end. So in this particular video, we are going to discuss about these 4 points. So let's start the video. So before discussing important questions of applied nutrition and dietetics subjects, let's discuss the syllabus and blueprint of applied nutrition and dietetics subjects. First to get briefly idea about major topics to study, chapter wise important questions, weightage of marks per unit of the syllabus. With this syllabus and blueprint, you will be easily understand the important questions briefly. There are 13 units in applied nutrition and dietetics subject which includes First one, unit one, introduction to nutrition, unit two, carbohydrates, unit three, proteins, unit four, fats, unit five, vitamins, unit six, minerals, unit seven, balanced diet, unit eight, nutrition deficiency, unit nine, therapeutic diet, unit ten, cookery rules and preservation of nutrients, unit eleven, nutrition assessment and nutrition education, unit twelve, national nutrition program and role of nurse, unit thirteen, food safety. So to watch full video of syllabus and blueprint. Question paper layout, question paper pattern. Click the link in the description. So, in this video, we only discuss about the important questions in all the units of applied nutrition and dietetics subjects. Text syllabus according to 10 marks, 5 marks, 2 marks, 1 marks, or according to parts of the question paper. So, our applied nutrition and dietetics subject question paper consists of four parts, which includes first part is long essay part, which carries 10 marks, where 10 marks for each question. Second part is short essay part which carries 20 marks, where 5 marks for each question. Third part is short answers part which carries 12 marks, which 2 marks for each question. Fourth part is MCQ which carries 8 marks, where 1 marks for each question. So firstly, let's start from the long essay part. Let's see from which are units 10 marks questions comes and how many 10 marks questions may come from the each units of the syllabus of applied nutrition and dietetics subject. So our long essay part consists of mainly only one standard question on the basis of priority and possibilities of repeating. So our first standard question is unit 7 that is balanced diet and the ordinary questions in this unit are So to get answers to these questions that is fully solved question bank based on RGHS, click the link in the description. So our second part is short essay part as same as long essay part. Short essay part consists of three standard questions. All of these three standard questions will be asked in your degree examination. So our first standard question is unit 8 that is nutrition deficiency which consists of two ordinary questions out of all possible ordinary questions in this unit are So our second standard question consists of unit 10 that is cookery rules and preservation of nutrients and the ordinary questions in this unit are
सो आवर थर्ड स्टैंड क्वेश्चन कंसिस्ट ऑफ यूनिट इलेवन दट इज न्यूट्रिशन असेसमेंट एंड न्यूट्रिशन एजुकेशन एंड द ऑर्डनरी क्वेश्चन इन दिस यूनिट आर our third party short answers which consist of six standard questions all of these six standard questions will be asked in your degree examination so our first standard question is unit 2 that is carbohydrates so our second standard question is unit 3 that is proteins third standard question consists of unit 5 that is vitamins and the ordinary questions in this unit are so our so our fourth standard question consists of unit 9 that is therapeutic diet and the ordinary questions in this unit are our fifth standard question consists of unit 12 that is national nutritional programs and role of nurse which consists of two ordinary questions out of all possible ordinary questions in this unit are so our fourth part is mcq which consists of five standard questions so our first standard question is unit 1 that is introduction to nutrition so our second standard question is unit 4 that is third standard question consists of unit 6 that is so our fourth standard question consists of unit 7 that is balanced diet so our fifth standard question consists of unit 9 that is therapeutic diet which consists of two ordinary questions out of all possible ordinary questions in this unit are
in this video we gonna inform you that we have created an whatsapp community page where you will get only your batch related that is 2023 batch related rjhs updates including exam date result date and notifications and mainly one more thing that you will get that is pdf of list of all examination centers with their all attached colleges including your college to check your college attached examination center follow our whatsapp community page with the link in the description so just subscribe this channel with the rjhs paper presentations solving and attempting all questions is not enough to get passed in your degree examination even if you miss one or two questions not in long essay part okay apart from long essay part even if you miss one or two questions in the short answers and mcq part you can score good marks the point is because marks are given to you is not only based on your knowledge it's also based on your writing skills the way you explain the topics the way you present the answers that is they assess how you can explain any topic in a simple way and interesting way so here we have some points to discuss for best arduous paper presentation so in that first point write answers in point wise your answer should be written in point wise not in paragraphs okay writing point wise shows how well you can explain the topic and how well you understood the topic if you write in paragraph with a lot of explanations of a topic and if you add some unrelated topics to questions they will think that you don't know the topic between each point leave one line organize your answers correctly do not create confusion in reading your answer should be in flow your answer should be correctly organized like which point is of which topic to make it clear use roman numbers for headings and topics and one two three number for writing points point point out the answer by making it organized and easily understandable manner it looks so easy to correct the paper and helps in scoring good marks okay second point is highlight your answers you should highlight your answers try to write as possible as less sentence explain your topic as possible as in less words because stretching your answers makes readers so annoying third point is use of flow charts your answers booklet should be filled with diagrams wherever necessary and mainly with lots of flow charts and in easily understandable manner by using flow charts in your answers also makes you to save time in your degree examination so here i brought solved question paper to show you about best paper presentation this is the pharmacology and pathology solved question paper which i was discussed before so here you can see there is flow charts and classifications of answers in this way you should write your answers in your degree examination you should only write with black pen not other pens or allowed so that's it this is all about the important questions of applied nutrition and dietetic subjects and plus how to get passed in your degree examination if you are not prepared for your exam till your examination date if there are less time to your examination you can easily score with this important questions and a syllabus and blueprint so just subscribe our youtube channel you will get everything that you need in our completing nursing school and also share this video to your friends it motivates us to work bring some knowledgeable videos to you and also watch our video that is some important points to be remembered before writing rghs examination and also don't forget to watch the applied biochemistry subjects blueprint to syllabus and important questions and also don't forget to watch the other subjects blueprint to syllabus and important questions by clicking the link in the description or clicking the i button